Hello, welcome back to a builder day. Yeah, um, yeah. Today we're going to be building a church, um, as promised. Uh, this one I was expecting to take a decent amount of time, but it only ended up taking about like fifteen minutes to actually build. Which is why this video is a lot slower. Well, not slower, but it's not as sped up as, for example, the windmill that I did yesterday. Um, however, today is quite stressful. Because this needs to go out today, right? Tomorrow, I have... A load of film studies coursework due in and a driving lesson so that makes it harder to do tomorrow's video and then on Friday I have halfway through the day I go home because I have no lessons but then this Friday I'm going to Bournemouth to go to a university open day and that is as soon as I get back, because it's a five-hour drive. So that's fun, basically meaning I'm going to have to record tomorrow's video and Friday's video tomorrow, because it is Wednesday, um, which is you know, interesting. It's interesting. I can get it done, but it will be tight. It will be very very tight but anyway on to the build um yeah it's it turned out all right actually um it turned out all right i quite like it um my initial design i had planned a sort of gradiented copper roof so it'd go from dark to light on like all sort of like all the cyan colors and it would look really nice, and it would contrast the windows, which are sort of a yellow and orange. However, I realized I have an absolute buttload of work. So I was like, right, I'm going to speed run this. So I didn't do that roof. I just did a simple deep slate roof. It worked all right, and it looks all right, actually. Uh, I think this is the best, ch best church that I have built. And that's saying something, because this church isn't great. It's all right. It's all right. Um, but I, it can be a lot better. It can be a lot better. Um, uh, yeah, basically, it's a square, which is going to be the tower, and a rectangle. And you just put them together, add a roof, and add the tower. And then... It looks f the walls look flat so then what you do is you add buttresses which they did have which basically allow them to build tall in sort of the medieval times um so you add that adds depth and then you just texture it and you have a half decently like looking ca um, castle uh church so that's basically what i did um it's very simple, very easy, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's you, you know, it's pretty simple. I think the the towers five by five, and then the actual main part was oh uh, four plus four uh, plus five. That'd be what eight. 13 by 9, I think, so 13 by 9. Um, so that's sort of the dimensions. You know, it's relatively small. Um, it'll fit into your sort of, like, Minecraft village type thing. Um, so it's, you know, it's it's good in that aspect. Um, yeah, it's quite small. Um, I'd like to build a bigger one at some point. But, you know, for now, let's keep it original. Uh, I think tomorrow's video, I don't know actually what tomorrow's video is going to be. And then 
Friday's video because that one is going to be... I'm going to have to do that very quickly. That one's going to be very small. It's going to be very short. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to be a big build. It's I've planned it to be just a market square, which personally I find they can be a little bit difficult to sort of plan out. Uh, given what needs to sort of be there, you know, like the the well and then like where do you put the market stalls and is there a tree or something, carts, etc., the roads. You've got a lot to think about because it's the central area of a village or a town and then obviously you build it bigger, so better infrastructure and you can put it into a city. And they are central areas along with castles and churches so planning it out I find is one of the hard bits building it is not too difficult because you know a well that's pretty simple it's just a hole with a roof on top it's a bit more complicated but in essence and then market stalls are just you know a, a line of wood sticks and then a line of wool and that is your simplest market stall. You can decorate it a bit, but that, in essence, is your simplest market stall. So, you know, from a building point of view, it's pretty simple. Um, but uh, anyway, um, on to today's video again. Uh, we've built pretty much all the walls. We've built the tower. We're just adding the tower roof, uh, which is just some deep slate slabs and sort of like a, a little arch. Um, now we're adding some buttresses to the side. You know, you can see it adds, it adds detail, it adds sort of a bit of character. Um, one thing that I'd wished I did on this build was added in some sort of foliage growing up the side. So some leaves, vines plants around the edge, mossy cobblestone, mossy stone bricks, uh, sort of around where they're growing. Because uh, that, I find, if you're, fi if you're having your build and you're finding that it's not really fitting into the world, it looks like you've copy-pasted it in, the best way of fixing that is adding nature to it. Literally, just some random leaves along the side and some grass around it, um, eat like bone meal, literally just bone meal around it. And it makes it look 10 times better because you've added nature to it. And the nature is infecting your build rather than your build infecting the world. Um, I should probably not use the word infecting because it doesn't infect, but you get my meaning. Um, but yeah, uh, this video, we're actually going to be able to see me building the interior. I know, it's incredible. Um, I I couldn't quite figure out the movement because it didn't want to cooperate and sort of moved me through one of the walls. So I just rendered two clips. So we're going to transition over about now. Uh, there we go. Now we're on the inside. So. We finished with the exterior, mostly. We, we've still got the texturing, but uh, other than that, it's fine. We're adding in the floor, just using World Edit. Very useful tool. Uh, I, I basically can't build without it. Um, you can see on the edge of the frame, we're building the sort of... Um, <sighs> what are they called? Um... I can't remember what they're called. Um, the things in the roof that hold it up. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the eaves. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're building the eaves. Um, so basically the way I do it is I add a T, an upside down T of spruce, stripped spruce logs. And then on the underside of all the stairs, just add spruce slabs. And then where the vertical of the T comes like and meets the top, take that and basically go down in a line and add spruce 
plank blocks, four blocks, and it sort of looks like a strut thing or beam that holds up that bit and unifies it. It looks it looks all right, you know. Um, it gives it a rustic vibe. But now we're building the sort of front section where I guess your priest or vicar would go. Um, I don't know churches, given that I'm an atheist, but um, you know, just the bit where the people speak. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but there we go. We've got, we've got a book there, and uh, then we're going to add some, some uh, pews, and, uh, and then, it, uh, then it should be done. Then we're going to texture it, and uh, that'll be the build. Um, there we go. The pews, very simple. Um, they're, yeah, they're just that. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's very simple interior, just getting some lighting in. Um, I wanted to do candles, uh, but I, I thought against it, given I'd have to figure out how to put the candles in. But uh, here we go, gonna, gonna texture it soon. Soon, it's coming, <laughs> eventually. We do do it. Uh, it's a long command. There we go, there's a little bit. And we will add some cracked stone bricks very soon maybe now maybe now how about now no now nah there we go uh and as you can see that adds a load of texture but uh the video is ending i hope you enjoyed and um yeah enjoy these cinematics i will see you tomorrow